Matthew Stuggy here from Verity Baptist Church, Philippines. Just give me a missionary update. Uh, this past week, we had a total of 110 salvations. So we were able to get that 100 salvation mark. And so uh, it's been difficult the last several months. Uh, the weather and various restrictions on some of our ministries from the government and things like that. But I do expect we're going to be having a big um, uptick, a big jump in salvations coming up. We've got a lot more uh, soul winning that's going to be going on. So we're excited for it. So I look forward to uh, next week and probably the weeks after that having a lot more to report to you. But overall, things are going well. We're, we're still doing the work, doing a lot of soul winning and everything. And so in terms of sermons preached, um, we're in Genesis chapter 6. I covered half of it last week, and I covered the idea of the sons of God and showed that they are uh, saved people. They're not fallen angels. I gave four reasons for that. Um, tonight I'm going to be preaching on Genesis 6 as well to finish the chapter here in Pampanga. And then on uh, the weekend services, I gave you f I gave four reasons, uh, four excuses people make for their sins. And I used a story in 1 Samuel 13 where Samuel rebukes Saul. And the Bible outlines itself in a couple verses where he makes an excuse of the followers. He makes an excuse of, of Samuel not coming in the time appointed. Uh, he makes an excuse of the circumstance. And then in the next verse, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. He blames God and acts like God required him to do this. And uh, obviously God did not tell him to do that. And then he, God was very angry with him for that. So uh, you can check out that sermon if you want. I gave four reasons that are listed there. And then also we're still in Psalm 27. So I preached on uh, waiting upon the Lord. So what we're doing is a Bible memorization challenge as I'm preaching through the book of Psalms. We have uh, basically Psalm 23 through 41. And for each chapter, uh, people get uh, a snack or a candy prize if they memorize the entire chapter. So however many chapters they are able to memorize, um, you know, they're able to get a snack each week. And it's going great. Uh, our candy and our snacks are kind of uh, leaving. So a lot of people are memorizing the Bible and quoting it to people, which is great. Uh, we love to try to encourage uh, memorizing the Bible. Uh, we have a lot of upcoming activities coming up here. We're going to be doing a table tennis tournament, a uh, chess tournament coming up. We got our two anniversaries in November, and we got a lot of other stuff. And at the end of this month, we're having our first annual Kids Day. So if you're someone who is within the vicinity and able to come, I'd encourage you on the final Saturday and final Sunday, um, if you're in Pampanga, to come to a Pampanga for the Kids Day, and on Sunday to come to Manila. And so I'll be preaching one sermon against the dark holidays. I'll be uh, preaching against voodoo this year. Then I'm going to preach a sermon about um, something that, that kids can apply to their lives to, to really try to um, encourage them. We're going to make it a day. We're going to obviously have our soul winning and normal preaching, but a day really geared toward the kids. So I encourage you to come if you're able to come for that. We'd love to have you. We know it's going to be a great time. And so overall, things are going pretty well. Uh, they're, they're always busy, but overall, things are going pretty well. And um, I look forward to, to, as I said, reporting to you probably even more salvations in the coming weeks. We're going to be doing... You know, even more soul winning. So overall, things are going well. And just uh, continue to be in prayer for our ministry. Thank you and God bless.